public meeting to order, please rise for the pledge of the flag. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Is there a call? Larry Zlowski. Present. Cassie Knight. Here. Nancy Ellis. Here. Jerry Garica. Here. Jenny Matiki. Here. Paul McGarnett. Here. Jimmy Smith. Present. Is there a motion to approve the regular monthly minute meeting for the January 12, 2022 meeting? I'll make the motion. There's a second. Second. Any <coughs> questions on the minutes of the meeting? Okay, roll call. Larry Zalowski? Yes. Kathy Dykes? Yes. Yes. Nancy Allen? <laughs> yes. I'm excited about it. <laughs> Jerry Garrico? Yeah, absolutely. Janine Mutiki? Yes. Jeff Smith? Okay. Paul Kofar? Yes. You got me laughing now. I was reading that. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's get into the mayor's report, Mayor. The uh, only thing I have is uh, you know, connect Brooks in the street department for keeping up with the street with the snows and everything. And uh, with what the police did down the dawn was brought us. Before we get into reports of the staffing committees, we're going to make a little change of honor since we have our uh, engineering firm here, uh, Ernestine Vernick Engineers. If you want to give your report now at this time, and if you just move up this way, you don't you know, really need to stay for the whole length of the other meeting. We'll get you in, give you your report, and you can set a turn to that. So, yeah, okay. you guys, okay? All right, thank you. Uh, first of all, uh, I'd like to introduce my boss, <laughs> Mike Myers. He leads our office in um, Western Pennsylvania in operations throughout Pennsylvania. Um, now, we re uh, by report, we submitted, uh, if you all have a copy of it, but some of the projects we're looking into, we, we were asked to look at the, the offers for the property assessment for the, for the um, Easement, temporary easements and the permanent right of way base along for the uh, new signal project. And we submitted our letter of recommendations for approval on that. Um, we, we talked about the blighted houses and, and the uh, application process and where that stands on getting the uh, approval from the, the granting um, agency. We talked about the uh, municipal parking and the possible, there was a report done some years ago and we are talking to um, Mac Engineering, uh, the previous Mac Engineering firm, to uh, see if we could get a hold of that report and see if it needs to be updated before we can give our recommendations on the safety of the parking of that, in that area. We, uh, we looked at the railroad drainage problem, um, Railroad Street down by, I'm sure you're familiar with it, it come up a couple times. Um, our first conceptual look at it is, you know, it's, it's a difficult project because it's in a low spot behind buildings and with the railroad on one side and on the other. And we also are talking to the previous engineers because there was, we believe that there was a survey done and that would be really beneficial for a first step in taking a look on something that we could come up with for a solution. Uh, we have a, a set up transition meeting with Doug Aiken from the previous engineering company and he is compiling a list of all activities he was cur uh, currently working on and we're going to get together and, and discuss that and that went real smoothly. smoothly so uh, Some of the grants that um, that are underway for the so sidewalk replacement. We're just getting a handle on what, what you guys have planned for that. Um, the future grants, we, we submitted a, uh, some local or some upcoming grants that we have back on pretty quickly if we're going to attempt to. And call you, I'd like to call your attention to the local share uh, account in DCNR grant funding. Those are, there are two probably most likely 
um, be good and eligible for that. Um, there could be a quick turnaround on the first one and maybe a little more time on the other one. And then a couple other things. Um, Atlas building project that I was contacted by the developer and the planning agency in charge of that. And they were asking for a um, application for a site review. I don't know. Um, they, I don't know if you currently have one, but we came up with one that they give you as a suggestion. You can comment on it, we can fix that up or whatever, so that they can normal application for the review of that project. Um, and we were talking about the signal project, and it just so happened that I'm on another committee board that uh, the manager of the project for the consulting firm works for District 12 doing the signal project. I got to talk to her personally, so that was that really uh, helped out. And it's set to be let in middle of October of this year. So, and that's probably pretty well locked in. But if we we saw some issues out there that with some of the poles are in bad shape right now. And the only thing I can suggest is that if we, as you as a group, uh, maybe write a letter to your representatives or something to make sure that the project doesn't slip and at least that it's going to be underway in October mm -hmm. or maybe some other ways to accelerate it or even some temporary fixes on a couple of those poles that are pretty bad. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's about it. Do you have any questions? <coughs> and most of we had a, a, a grant for our playgrounds. Did you get a chance to, you got a chance to go up and look at any of the playgrounds to see what no, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah to get uh, letters of recommendation for the street streetscape project for this? Oh, for that one. We're still yes. on the same yes. page with that, correct? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Um, yeah, that would be, anything like that is, is, is good. <laughs> anything oh. you can do to encourage that. Okay, then the resolution, we would be okay to wait until uh, we have an agenda meeting the first Wednesday of March, regular meeting the second Wednesday of March. I think that that would be the ninth. Is that still, that's enough time? Because it's due the 15th, correct? Yes, it's due the 15th. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I think that's possible. Yes, at any time, whenever they ask for a resolution. Well, could, it be, could it be easy? Yeah. I'm sorry, could it be easy? Because we can, because <coughs> our agenda meetings are actually public and they're, and they're, and they are, uh, you know, out there and advertising. So if need be, if we would need to take a vote on the second, that that would give you more time. We just need to know in advance. If you're, if, you're, if you're looking at doing this, we can start doing the work on it right away. You know, it's really a question of if you're going to, you know, if that's the time you're going to pass the resolution, just that it has to be done for the grant, you can really do that at any time. Okay, then the last thing was, was I think mm -hmm. I got maybe updated a little bit more since I talked to Robbie from Stantec. Paul signed all the documents for the for the easements today mm -hmm. uh, for us to be have a check forwarded back to us. Uh, speaking to him, he did speak with the engineers. I can't remember what I, I did tell you about it. Yes, I think maybe yes. I told Mike. So he yes. did speak to the engineers. He, he's, he's got their ear. To uh, yes. You know, with 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 the condition of, of the poles and the exposure that we have there, uh, they're doing everything they can um, to move that project right. Right. Yes. into 2022. Oh yeah, that that's um, yeah, that was the let date is 2000 or October 2022. So I, I I doubt that that would be able to be moved forward unless you know as we can convince them it's a dire emergency. But um, but that's still a good time frame, and we just got to worry about it slipping. So that's why 
you know, we need to think submit you this information so that we at least get it by then. <laughs> you think you two can convince them that it is a dire emergency? <laughs> yeah, well, I already have. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. We've already had discussions on it. Who's the head of our center? Yeah. Representatives, you can get a kind of letter of the out from the center. Yes. Can get that. And we'll just strictly identify it as streetscape when they when they put it in their letters back to us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Anybody else have any Anybody? questions? Thank you guys. Hey, thank you. Thank you. You see, you see John the brothers. Yeah. Okay. That reason is it's spears. Bye guys, thank you. Bye. Thank you. Okay, we, we need to go into executive session, uh, so yeah, we need to have you here. <laughs> okay, our, okay. There's a half a mile in front of the Spears X. His angel light was on. Why don't we move on to three? Yeah. We'll All skip right. over the first We're going to go through probably the, the committee reports, maybe. Yeah. We can't. We can't. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, you're going to need to get here quickly. Okay? That's what I said. Thank you. That's what I said. Well, I mean, can't we skip? Can we, move, can we skip the committee reports and go, or can we? The, the discrepancy between the two is. That we need an executive session for is finance and personnel. Those are the two that basically committees that need clarification before we would get into. So if we could skip over those and go straight, and we'll go with the public works down. We can get in public discussion if there is any on agenda items, and then when they, Sean shows up, we'll just yeah, bear with us. We're jumping around here because of waiting for our solicitor, but we're. We don't want to keep you guys just sitting there and us not actually having the meeting until he gets there. So what we're going to do is, understanding committees on here, it says we're going to skip over finance and personnel because we'll need an executive session before those committees can make a report. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to go into the, the public works and, and Kathy or Janine on public works. Or Brooks want to give it. <laughs> Wait a minute, since I'm a committee member. Oh, okay. I just wanted to say that you guys did a great job. Um, I have Facebook posts, I have text messages, I have phone calls. Kathy and I talked about it. Everybody is very happy with your performance. The community is happy with your performance, which makes us happy with your performance. <laughs> so you guys, are, you guys are doing good. For your first year, you're all great. Things are doing very well. And I'd just like to say also thank you, Jeanine, and also Kathy. For, it was very good communication between the three of us. You got me informed. If you guys informed, I know I got a call from, from Jerry also and from Nancy and Larry and got certain certain sections. But thanks, thanks to all you guys for keeping everybody else up to date. I mean, we got everyone's got to understand. I know there's a lot of gray in here, but uh, our police, which one of them, our lieutenants, are sitting here. They do a good job of calling out. Right. Don't everybody panic because you're looking out your window. I got a hill right in front of my house. And I see the storm <coughs> coming. Calm down. The police see the same thing we do. Right. They're basically the ones who, who will pull the alarm on calling our guys out. And um, they've been doing that for years. So don't let your neighbors call you and say, hey, I, you know, they're white outside. No kidding. It's going to happen. They can't be on every street at once. Do I have to announce them? You're recording. Who is it? Do I have to announce that I'm recording the meeting? No, 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 no,
He said that in the middle of the <laughs> <laughs> he, he assures me it's on the way to them. All they've got to do is go over it, make sure it's to, to what we specified we wanted, and then they'll ship it to us. So. Well, I'm glad he got back to you because he didn't get back to me. <laughs> yeah. Well, I actually, well, I called him. I mean, I emailed so him. Did I. When I didn't get a response, I called him. But um, so, and then uh, I would like to just to say that the, the community that again, not to make excuses, but we are a new crew of guys. Uh, my guys are still trying to learn the borough, the ins and outs of plowing snow. We're going to forget a few spots now and again. But if you know anybody that has a problem that they would call and politely suggest, you know, that we get to their alley. Um, well, I mean, I've, I've had a few phone calls and I've dealt with a few things that... Um, they weren't polite. Well, I mean, I, I did my very utmost best to be polite, but at the same token, if you're going to call the borough out for doing a bad job, maybe you better take care of your property first, too. So, because um, I'm the guy that's going to let you know, don't call me out unless your stuff's right, too. So. Um, but other than that, that's all good. Okay. Yeah, the well. uh, coach, or anything on I have, other than the subjects in the thing that Jeremy. Yeah, I have not got to talk to Jeremy. I've got time right now. Because yeah. his report is actually in if anybody wants to look through it. Because yeah, yeah, parks yeah. and rec, is there anything to do with parks and recreation? Um. No, but I just found out that LSA grant was denied as per Roberta. Um, when when asked about the thirty five thousand dollars that was set aside for the parks, um, it was it was informed that that twenty that thirty five thousand dollars that we put away that it was going toward the sidewalk, sidewalk. Anybody want to explain? No. I'm new here, but I, I don't I think that's... I thought when we agreed to... No, I'm sorry not to interrupt. Right. 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 But I thought when we, when we agreed to from that... From my understanding, the 35000 came from the CDBG money. Right, right. And didn't you guys just change it to the sidewalk project, $129,700? But the original we reassigned it. Right. Right. So that's so the, we took parks and rec for the community and kids to put it into sidewalks when we can get that money elsewhere. We have four hundred thousand dollars in money from from the COVID. But the original was put we, we divided between blight and recreation, correct? Right. Yes. Right. That was the original. Well when did when did you say that? I don't know, when you guys uh, I, maybe I mean I'm gonna maybe I didn't understand the whole thing of what we were voting on. I, I'll, I'll say that on a lot of them, the problem. But I did hear that we we shifted our money from the playgrounds to the streets, and <clears throat> it's my understanding we don't want to do that. Let's put it back into the playground. We can <clears throat> because I I, I, that. I don't know. I, a I don't know. You should have got. I don't know if you've got notified yet from the Treasury Department. I got a question. Yeah, there's new rules yeah, on the new COVID. Rules on the COVID money. Money. It can be pretty this, much used for right, anything right, to. Right, this is the one that you're. This, right, this is the original one that you like, the Rich Cleveland grant, correct? This is the Rich Cleveland grant. Is that, is that yeah. who it was? Yeah. That's right. That's the one that was denied. Yes. Right. Okay, yeah, that's that's not an LSA grant. That's a uh, okay, Greenways. Well, Greenways, trails, you know, recreation. That's why I was kind of like LSA because I was. Yeah, no, like, no, okay, okay. So what? But if it's if it's we we set aside thirty five thousand dollars of our own money of the borough's money to go into that. No, no, that was that was from the grant we're getting from the county. No. What did he apply for? Money, what right? did he, if we lost it, let's keep it there. What did he apply for total on that grant? One. What was it? One thirty five. No. I don't have it. I don't either. And what, the borough's matching fund was 35000 of that? Yes, I believe. Yeah, oh, I know it's 35000 It was, was 150 because we were asking for 115 and yes. 35 we were putting the 35000 So it was 150000 But now I have no money to work with it for the parks. None. Well, there's money in the line, I don't 
Well, it's not thirty-five thousand. I can tell you that, and it's not a hundred and fifty thousand. Well, we know. Oh, Again, I, what, I'm, what I'm asking though was the, the, the original, the money that was going into the, the demolition of the house, we set aside, that was that was from what, redevelopment money? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. What, what, well, that redevelopment money doesn't, that isn't, wasn't so much set aside for recreation and set aside for demolition. That was redevelopment money, not LSA money. The original was one hundred and fifty thousand. This is this is a grant that he wrote but, with that. Okay, well, I'm that's regardless of, of um, where the original, where it came from. I want to know where the thirty the thousand dollars money. is. When, when we happening. sat here, Mark said we were going to put X amount of more dollars into the demolition. He said, "No, leave it at the fifteen thousand for the demolition because we can always get more on that. Leave the it was at eighty five thousand. I thought was it Mark?" <coughs> So it was 100000 for home rehabilitation. Okay. Um, and I'm not sure about this. But this is a total separate grant issue than what she's talking about, correct? No. No, it's the CDBG money from the redevelopment authority. But, but we, we weren't denied them. that. We were denied the grant, but we still we were denied the LSA grant. grant. Not we still, we we still have the grant. The our money is still sitting there. We're just saying, leave that money there. Right. And let's use it for, don't put it back on the uh, sidewalks. Leave it there for the, the, the playgrounds. Yeah. $35,000 isn't going to do a whole lot for our playgrounds, right. but it'll do something. Well, right, right, right. Well, we can, well, we have well, money, so we can move the money. Money can be moved around. Right. There's no problem with that. There isn't, but I wanted to bring it okay. forward. Right, right, because right. That money, right. that money's for the right. Parks. Because originally it was earmarked for the park. Correct. The CBG money. Correct. Right. Yes. Okay. Janine, there's a, a DCNR DCNR grant right now for recreation. Deadline is April the sixth. I'm going to send you that information. Uh, you know, click on the link, take a look at it, and uh, maybe that's something we can get in under the wire. Perfect. Thank you. Well, I mean, not only did, I don't know if you heard what she said, I have as, um, Roberta probably got it already. Did you get anything from the Treasurer's Office saying that the COVID money, they have changed the, the rules on that now? I have not. That actually, if you go down on the computer, it's about, it's called the final rule. And when you click on that, they give you options. Isn't that what I sent out to you? I thought it was, yeah, but yeah, I sent that out to you. Guys. I when I went into what you had, it was totally different than what I had on, on from the treasurer's department. Yours wasn't from the treasurer's department. I forget who it was from, but they changed their rules on it. That's why I'm saying that that COVID money, we could basically if they give us options. Right, right. If we, I'm told, take option one. If we take option one, we could basically use that money for anything we want. And at the end of the year, when you're done with you spend all their money, then you give them a little rundown of what you did. Right. But if you choose any other option, every time you spend their money, line item, you do a line they want a line item from it. So that's what we're saying is right. we could get more money for the playgrounds. Let's right. see what is our playground. Well, that would be whatever finance decides mm -hmm. that you want to do it that way. I think that would be what your recommendation would be to do it all in one lump. Well, then okay, but like I said, I, I really think we need to look at and getting funding also for, for parks because again, absolutely, you know, as much is going to be needed to be done in those. Absolutely, that's a lot for thirty-five thousand. But I think that the three of us need to sit down and yeah. at least go over some of that. Good. Right. Okay. And and that that uh, CDBG money was that two thousand twenty monies or twenty one monies that you have sitting from your last year's budget. That was 21. That was last year's money. Last year? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Because we didn't get anything. We didn't have any issues. Yeah, with the COVID. No, no, that was nothing to do with COVID. This is the CBG money. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought it was 21. Yeah, it was the, the demolition of the houses and uh, the money it was like there was originally parks. Anyone else enter that now? No, I'm done. Okay. <laughs> Okay, please, Larry. Um, we had a reorganization meeting two Wednesdays ago, right? Yep. Uh, yeah, two Wednesdays ago. And uh, uh, they elected the officers, and they are as follows for 2022. President Kurt Rice, Spears Councilman. 
Vice President Steve Haga, Mayor North Shalroy, Solicitor Tom Agrafiotis, Shalroy Attorney, Treasurer Tim Hurd, Mayor of Spears, uh, Secretary Roberta Dorfler, Borough Administrator Shalroy, Finance Chair Tim Hurd, Mayor of Spears, Personnel Chair Carrie Zalitsky, North Shalroy Councilwoman. And that's all we had at that time. Uh, I just want to hitchhike on what the mayor had said regarding um, the McDonald's of Shalroy acknowledging uh, two of our officers. That was Lieutenant Polinski and um, K-9 officer uh, Goodwin. And they took about between 15 and 20 kids, and it was all over Facebook, and that's what we have. Um, and they took them to McDonald's and they bought them little sandwiches and spent some time with them. And um, McDonald's uh, acknowledged those officers and were very ha happy to uh, be recognized like that by the community um, businesses. And it's just great. And we've got a great police force, all of our officers. And the kids really enjoyed spending time with the police. And um, that particular group of children were from the uh, boxing upstairs. And they happened to be out by Sweet Bees McDonald's in that area. And um, I just thought it was really great that they were recognized like that. And I do have some statistics. Um, but I will keep them for the uh, police meeting. Okay. Well, I will, if you're talking about the same one sort of I got, I was going to just let our people know. Well, people don't I come to our meeting, the police meeting. Well, no, I just, that's, I know I'm not on that committee, but well, I still, can I, read I have time. Yeah, yeah so what are these? Okay. Just, just their budgets for the uh, surrounding uh, police department. Bearing, what does it have bearing on Shulbury Borough? Well, no, it was yeah, a discussion yeah. that me and you talked about. Oh, okay. About the budget. Okay, what okay. Other people well, yeah, okay. Good, good. Yeah. good okay. In 2020, uh, they wrote 857 sweeper tickets totaling $17,140. In 2021, they wrote 952 tickets totaling $19,040. Um, they wrote 609 citations for the borough to collect the backlog of the liquid sanitation because the company that was doing code enforcement at the time was not capable of doing that. The regional board at the time never once wanted to build Shawlery Borough. We thank them for that, for the time spent at the hearings. Magistrate and there were times when they had to go to the county of Washington um, they did not ask for gas reimbursement to attend summary appeal hearings in Washington. On the 4th of July, Halloween parade and haunted house. Um, it says here, I believe, and Chad submitted this, I believe, our chief, I believe we did not bill for the 4th of July festival check with Roberta. <laughs> No. Okay. Well, I have a question, not to interrupt it, but I have a question on that because I do remember sitting here before all of those events and said that the Shawry Borough will pay for an officer to be there. So really the, the, the regional shouldn't have been shouldn't have been paying their salary when we said that we would contract and I do remember for the haunted house because we said until what time? So if, if, so, so, you know, we obligated to pay those people. If, if they didn't submit a bill to us, well, they then they shouldn't say on there that this is what they're doing and not submitting a bill because we did request and yeah, then we have that. They never billed us for that. No, never paid this is the only reason I wanted that was because I don't want the other municipalities to say, you're spending all your time in Charlotte. No, we were offering to pay an officer to be right. there. Right. So, well, right. I, so I, I think, I I think it was just meant that <coughs> no, the clarify, board was right. aware of this and they didn't right. okay. say okay. charge Shalroy. That is the way I took it. Yes, 
says the regional did not bill the borough for any hours for officers during the Halloween parade. The guys were at every intersection from 6th to 4th on Fallowfield and McCain for the trick-or-treats started until the end of the parade and two guys were present until the haunted house closed. And I think they just wanted to make everyone aware of that. It's, you know. And that's only been since Chad's been here, right? right? Yeah, that's all that was. They were just pointing out what they could have built us, did they have them built us. Yeah. And, and that I was on the board at the time, and we said, because when they have their Halloween and whatever, they have a more shower, they'll do it. When Spears has their Halloween, they'll do it. We don't charge each other. You know, we're all in favor of having community days and letting the other communities have a good time. Let me ask you, though, are they requesting the, the ticket money not come to the borough, but no, come no, to the no, region? That was not, no, no, they're just bringing out the time that they... It could. It it was well, that's, what I, that's, what I meant. that's what I was getting down that path, we because it sounds it. like and it, they're saying they're raising all this money for Shalroy. Are they looking at that it really should go into their that's budget? Right. Because... By rights, it should, rights, it should go well, into their budget. That's what I'm asking. What they're trying to say... They don't ask for it. What they're trying to say is... They felt that that was enough to pay the rent that was brought up that, you know, right. made the headline. Utilities. That's what they're saying, that by doing all that kind of thing is, what else do you want from us? You know, we're, we're bending over backwards not to charge you anything, so why would you want rent off of us? Right. So they really don't want any problem, but she, yeah. she actually did everything different. You brought up, I didn't. I wasn't going to bring up. We talked about right. budgets. <laughs> The Norris budget, uh, what's our budget? One million dollars? Shawler's is what, 700 of that? Yeah, we're sorry, but well, one, two, and okay. Two and six. <clears throat> our budget's two. What is the budget for the police department? For the police? $653,000. Uh, yeah. I mean, the whole six, budget. 700. It is well, it's over a million dollars. and three hundred and something, isn't it? One point three million. Yeah, it's over a million dollars. I was cutting it short, saying over a million. Right. I'm not getting exact. Right. Uh, the Norris budget is six hundred and fifty-five, six fifty-five, okay. and that's one man per one man per shift, uh, and that's with six full timers. California's budget is seven hundred thousand dollars, and that's with one man majority of the time. Mm -hmm. Um, Monomany Hallow's budget's the only one that's, like ours, is over a million dollars. They have two, three guys out like we do. Mm -hmm. um, I think our budget's right intact with the surrounding communities. <clears throat> so, uh, I mean, and that was just me and you talking yeah, right, about right, right. why is our budget so much. Well, and I told you I checked on it, so right. I checked on it. No, I agree. And um, our budget totally... Uh, it's okay, and that's another thing. Uh, you got to add 137,000 to the board budget for health care. It wasn't added in. Now, so their budget total is 802 thousand dollars for one man per shift. We put two out there. And I don't know how for a little over a million dollars. So we're actually all in line with our police, with the community, surrounding communities. We just wanted to clear the air and get the numbers out there. Oh, right. That's this was just meant to let everybody know that, you know, this is being done and the board had no objection to the police doing the sweep of tickets or anything else. And, uh, you know, basically, let's all work together. Mm -hmm. As we always have in the Anything else on police? No. Okay, and fire, even, and, and Joe. Um, okay, we had 57 calls in January. Uh, we're up to 17 so far this month. Um, pretty busy uh, with cold and, and AMS calls and stuff like that. Um, we, I don't know if anybody noticed on TV on Monday there was an issue with South Stravane on their response time. The South Strabane is mostly a paid fire department, and their response time was 18 minutes to a call on a high rise. Well, if you look at the sheets that we did, Matt brings over, our average response time will call is four minutes. That's pretty good for a volunteer, and that's a call. That's evening and midnight shift too, just not daylight shift. So 
because I think we're doing pretty good compared to some places that are fully paid and we're not some one paid guy. So that's a compliment to the council for helping us out and keeping that paid driver there. And then with the, and the manpower we have is dedicated to come out and, and do a good job. Uh, the other thing is we have a, a tip board out there right now for penguin tickets. Uh, I don't know how many more left in. About 100 left. And um, our pizza, uh, it's been out, like I said, on Facebook, our Super Bowl pizza has been advertised pretty good. It's this Sunday from 2 to 6. Anything well, else? I have, a, I have a question. Um, I've drawn, you know, I drive around town once in a while and go through these alleys. There's cars that are parked on the corners, on the very edge of the corners. Yeah. How are you going to get a fire truck from here? Run it over. You know, Larry called me yesterday about going up and look at Prospect between 5th and 6th, and those guys promised me that they'll keep it open enough. To you know, we can get in from either end, or we have to sneak through there. They'll keep it open. So that was—it's tough. It's tough. Our biggest problem is I uh, was brought to my attention tonight. It's up one crest between third and fourth where that little dog leg is. There's always somebody parked right back, you know, pushing the envelope. I mean, you probably see it a lot. Larry Mom's right there. There has to be lines or signs or something because it's there's there's no, there is there's no lines. No lines. There's there's no no lines. No. When they repaved the street. They took out part of the curb and there's no lines. I just told Bobby that if you would have a fire, and people were literally parked all the time, because I, I, Larry knows I live right there. I've had it back up a couple times in January because I could not get through. The people in the duplex there just parked there and they don't care. Oh, I know. So there's no line. So if a fire truck goes through there, the fire truck would probably be responsible because there's no lines, there's no sign for no parking. They just, they don't know. Another, there's something. Third Street between, it's the alley that you live on at the other end. That, where was the answer? That yeah. truck right there, I haven't got, in three weeks in a row, I haven't got my garbage. No. They had to come and get it because I, talk, I jumped to the garbage man and I waited for it. He can't get through because of that. It's that white. Yeah. And there's a wall there. He said, well, what do you want me to do? Hit the wall or hit the truck? Yeah. I, I know what you mean. Yeah. Bad. A lot of places with that. Okay. Yeah. We're at St. Charles. For all church, yeah. church time. St. Charles, I've been sent, sent pictures of me in the past, and cars are coming out, and they're actually parking out in the street. Yeah. They're like, it's right as far as they can get, and the car's out in the street. In front of the fire hydrant? Yeah, in front of the fire hydrant. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. we were having a lot of people park where, wherever they damn well right. 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 I've called, and I can show you text that, that I bothered Chad, and I apologize every time. I don't know how many people have seen the cars on 5th Street going up the hill on the right-hand side to pull up all, not up on the curb, but on, on the, the sidewalk. Side, yeah. By the old Connie's store, that guy was parking totally all four wheels up on the sidewalk. I took a picture of it and sent it to Chad. I said, this needs addressed. I said, it's not his private parking place. Uh, cars aren't parking, folks. You can't do that. Uh, they're parking anywhere they want anymore, on, all the way up on, in their yards, this is in California yeah. Township. 300 yeah. block of uh, matters, of course. They right, jump the curb and right before I looked out one of them. Right. Uh, right right down from Sean, uh, they were actually told yeah. to stop parking in the yard. This is in California Township. It looks like a big mud hole up right. there. Yeah. You know, every place. And I'm the one, if anyone wants to know, uh, I'm the one calling the cops. I call Chad all the time about it. It's just something that irks me. That I could see maybe your wheels go up over it, whatever. People, you know, do that. But to park your car totally on the sidewalks, it's illegal for one, and it's unsafe for our pedestrians to walk around your car out on the fifth street. Right. Well, they're parking on the corners. Does the same and, go for you know, food trucks? All the way down the street. Yes, the same thing goes for food trucks. <laughs> you ask, Larry. <laughs> If you your answer. May, I, may I ask, pose a question to counsel? As a newcomer <laughs> from somebody from another state, there's some of your all's rules and regulations that I absolutely do not understand. And to me, no, quite honestly, to clarify, how can you all, or the council, or the borough, dictate to property owners that they are to take care of the sidewalks? It's their responsibility. Hence, giving them the inclination it's their property 
but yet you're going to tell them they can't park a tire on said sidewalk. Because the vehicle code states that. Right. That you cannot park a vehicle on the sidewalk. We've got people right here in town that they park their motorcycles in the summer up on a sidewalk. Right. Same thing. I'm calling Chad. Chad. You gotta tell this guy, get his motorcycle off the sidewalk. There is a code that governs that then. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 That's 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 if somebody parks off, up, walks around that car and gets hit by a car because we let somebody park on the sidewalk, who do you think's in trouble? Both of us. The guy who parked <coughs> around us. Okay, well I mean I just I just wanted to know because yeah. I mean that's I mean I don't want to run into an issue where you know, obviously code enforcement's dealing with people that don't shovel the snow because the sidewalks belong to said property owner in front of that sidewalk. You can't everybody park in their cars in front no, of No, and I, I agree, the but I didn't know I didn't know if there was anything yeah. that said or that dictated that they could not do that. I mean I know in West Virginia it's just it's a law, period. You cannot park on the sidewalk. Right. Period. And and but at the same token they belong to the municipality, <coughs> not the property owner. So that's a difference. I mean, I, just, I, I was just curious. Okay, I don't okay. Know. Anybody else on? Uh, community planning and Larry. Well, actually, I didn't see under fire. Oh, sorry, uh, animal control. There, yeah, I'll do that control. report there. Animal yeah, control total call uh, forty-one calls, two citations, thirty-five warnings, one animal bite, uh, pickups one. Uh, no, yeah, one bite, three pickups, zero returns, nobody wanted them back, <laughs> and nuisance, 35. Um, and, uh, EMS, no cats. With, yeah, no cats. Ooh. Listen, you have to charge every time that work comes up. <laughs> <laughs> Janu January EMS had 110 total call, uh, incidents in Charlotte. I do want to mention one thing. Last night we had a wreck down on 9th and Bellfield, and the police were tied up with the wreck. They had another call, and we were down there, and Mark said, hey, call your station. There was a dog downstairs being picked up. He said, how about sending somebody over to let, let uh, Patsy to get the dog? So us and the police, you know, we're on call. It seems like, well, how about it, Mark? Every time we get stuff or something else comes up. So we're all, us and the police have been doing pretty, you know, real good. Not pretty good, real good on backing each other up, you know, if something happens. And we had a wreck here when it snowed real bad. I don't know if Mark was working up the first in Prospect. Somebody came down First Street, and we took the police report because they were tied up up, in, up at Spears on, on a disabled vehicle. So, you know, the police and the fire department, and in EMS too, we're getting along. I just want to let you guys know we are getting along good, and everybody's helping each other to, to keep everything, you know, real good for everybody in the borough as far as public safety. Is Kim Creek still the yes. Okay, Larry. Community planning. Um, the month of January has been pretty productive for community planning, economic development, which I serve on. Um, first of all, we uh, we were set to give a presentation uh, to, before the Washington County LSA Review Board, and I met Jeremy down here at 8:30 a.m. Uh, waiting for Sam to come in, and. Uh, he had a family emergency. We were going over and giving the presentation uh, together. Uh, we created it to give a two-part <laughs> presentation. Uh, so he had to bolt out of here, and I'm driving over to Washington trying to piece his presentation and mine together to keep it underneath the, uh, the number of minutes that, that are allotted. Uh, before I begin, you know, I, I don't know whether you mentioned this, if, it slipped, but uh, Jeremy's father passed away, and uh, I'd like to offer condolences on behalf of council to, to Jeremy and his family. So with that said, I gave the presentation to the Washington County LSA board uh, last month, and most recently the county commissioners awarded our borough $115,000, plus the borough's $35,000 match that was sought after to give us the $150,000 needed to begin demolition on the 10 blighted properties this year in 2022. Uh, moving forward, there's going to be much work that needs to be done with uh, Remington and Vernick, our new engineers who you all met, uh, writing the RFPs, selecting demo, crew, demo crews and demo priority 1 through 10, and naturally a realistic timeline, probably a little bit different than what was presented in the LSA uh, grant application. Uh, also, too, We've also been granted already 
uh, the month of January are 2023 community development block grant money funds of $129,700 from the Washington County Redevelopment Authority for a new sidewalk project. Unfortunately, we can't complete that project until 2023, but we're going to take any money that's uh, awarded to us. Um, also, too, at our agenda meeting last Wednesday, council agreed to be on the same page, and we are going to apply for the new statewide LSA funding uh, that was just recently put out there uh, through the Commonwealth, and we're seeking streetscape improvements throughout the town. I think you all know that uh, the lighting is horrible throughout the town. Uh, we haven't had a streetscape done in 40 plus years. Receptacles are damaged. Uh, 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 the Soviet style planners that we have through this town, uh, they're not attractive at all, and we need to enhance the town any way we can. That's, uh, that's a grant that, like I said, we all agreed to, to move forward. So we're going to prepare writing that. Uh, that's an April 15th deadline on that. Um, and then you heard our engineers. Our $6 million CMAC traffic signal grant, which was written and awarded towards the end of 2017, as you all know, it's been moving at a snail's pace that uh, was to be completed by 2021, uh, but was not. Uh, but within the month of January, like I said, with our new engineering firm, who I'm just, I'm tickled to death. These guys are bulldogs. Uh, they did a visual inspection. I asked them to come out of the site plots. And uh, like I said, I've reached out to uh, county, state, and federal parties involving uh, in expressing our emergency concerns that this project, it has to be completed in 2022. Uh, we, we pray that all ears are on board now and they understand the need to get this done immediately and not in 2023. Uh, Paul signed today uh, from Stantec, they're one of the uh, consulting engineering firms for PennDOT. Uh, it would have been site plot where they will create ownership of maybe a two feet by two feet area around the traffic signal poles. They will own that until that project is finished and then turn that property back over to the borough. They are paying us a minimum amount of money. I think roughly it was around $3,000 total for all the site plots that were identified. So we, Paul signed that today and I had him get that and I put that in the mail to get that out of there. So with that said, that concludes my report. Good job with the other side. Thanks. Okay. Is there any public discussion on any agenda items? No. <coughs> well, we're going to do, we'll just read quickly correspondence. You already had the code and no reports. The Tri County Bar Association meeting is, on, is in February the 17th. I mean, it's Ellsworth, correct? I think it's Ellsworth. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, we got our report from uh, Remington and, and Vernon. <coughs> At this, at this time, though, before we actually complete the reports of the standing committees of finance and personnel, we need to go into an executive session before they can, those ones can give their reports. So we will go across the hall then to have everybody leave. Uh, Mr. Mayor, we we'll ask you to make your Okay. Hey, we're back in the session. Thank you for your patience. Now we can go into reports of the committees that were neglected out. So finance, Nancy. Um, go ahead, Jimmy. Um, the bills to be paid are $143,781.10. Total bills already paid, $19,382.99. And the total amount of all the bills is one sixty three one sixty four oh nine. Motion to pay the bills. Motion. Is there a second to pay the remainder of the bills? Second. Roll call. Okay. Are there any questions on the bills? Discussion. You know what, Paul? I, I, I don't have a question on these bills, but I have a question for the Finance Committee. Hey, were you wait to pay yeah. the bills and yeah. while their committee still Yeah, go ahead. Because this there's a motion to second to pay the bills. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Kathy Yes. 
Jim Smith? Yes. Bob Moore? Yes. I'd like to give a reason why I voted no. Um, there's, there's 33 60 payouts that we're not, I am not sure what to do with. 3,360. Yes. Not 31. I'm sorry. And I'm not sure how to vote with it. Um, at this time, I'm voting no on it for that reason. Um, until it's further explained, my solicitor said it will be further explained down the road. My question that I'm just going to say is, as sitting here as president, <coughs> the reason I did vote yes for this is to ask your advice of our solicitor to give him time to look into it. I feel with a no vote, and if we would have had four no votes to pay the remainder of the bills, none of the bills of this borough would have gotten paid, which would have gave in a bigger, no, don't shake your head no, Janine, because you voted no to pay the remainder of the bills. So the bills would not have gotten paid if there would have been a no vote to pay the remainder of the bills. No. Why, why do you say no? Because we could have taken the 30 You didn't do that in your motion. I didn't. No, I did not. You said uh, you asked no. to pay the remainder of the bills, and, and if it was a no vote. And there was three no vote. votes to pay the remainder of the bills, not a portion of the bills. Jerry made a statement. You made a statement. Right. The statement that I'm going to make okay. is that I voted no not to pay the bills because of a discrepancy of $3,360 in wages, period. Everything else would have gotten paid. That's, that how the motion the motion been, that's how the motion should have been made, though, Janine, okay. I'm asking. Because well, if the motion was made that way, it might have determined some other people's votes. But, but since it was across the board, not paying any of the bills, I don't, I don't want to be in default of not paying any of the I bills. I agree. Yeah, because I agree. The, the borough needs to pay their bills. So I agree. I got paid, yeah. Right. 100%. Okay. Everything gets paid. Uh, and more with yeah, finance. Yeah, I'm just going to make this real quick. I guess I got to go back to you were finance chairman in 2021, correct? I was on the finance committee. Yes. <clears throat> Your finance now? Correct. Okay. Um, anytime within 2021 and presently up to 2022, did the DCED pay $45,000 to this borough? Because I'm not, I, I don't know that. I'm new. Did they pay $45,000 for the STMP, the old e EIP program? They paid that received, directly to that. We received that money. We didn't get that. They paid that directly to the SDMP. Um, they went straight to the consultant. Yes. So they cut a check right to them. Yes. Okay. Uh, as any time. Our, our, ours was 5000 Right. Correct. Right. That's the matching five. funds. Anytime right. um, within 21 and then 22, uh, was there any funding that came down from the DCED to pay for the portion of the borough manager's salary that was allocated within the contract. We haven't gotten any of that money, have we, Bar have we Roberta? No. We have not received one dime from the DCED towards contribution of, of the uh, borough manager's salary. I, I, I can't comment, said... I'm not sure. Uh, I mean, I would like to answer that. I forget what I did yesterday sometimes, so <laughs> I can't remember. And the borough manager was, was hired when was it? January, uh, June, yeah. July? June, July. Yeah. July. June, July. Yeah. So with the remainder of the six months of fiscal year 2021, and here we are two months into 2022, there hasn't been any money received from the DCD. Well, I know that the grant process for that was started, and that's all I can tell you. Jerry, you made a motion. Nancy, you seconded to approve resolution for 2021 for the borough to undertake a project under the strategic management planning program for the borough manager's salary and benefit subsidy grant. Right. Okay, so that motion was made. They obviously have that resolution, the DCED. How come we have not received one dime from the DCED? Uh, Has anybody question. followed up uh, with, with them? The grant process takes a while. The grant process is over and done with. Well, it's not because that was an additional grant process. That was an additional grant on top of the STMP. They would have never rolled that grant monies into 2021. That, that, that would have been awarded to the borough. 
uh, you know, that that's, I got a real hard time digesting that. That's gonna, that yeah. has, that's an answer. Yeah, right? that, that's fine. We're going to have to do some research on that. I think all of us because uh, you know right. no, we expect our money. Right. Yeah, I mean you're right. If we don't get it, right. we didn't get it. We should have gotten it. Was there was, last year. was there a period that we weren't to be paid? Was there after the 120 days of um, I don't want to call it probation? Probation. Thank you. Was it supposed to be done after that? Was it done after that? Well, look at the way the original wording of the contract was. Right, we need the contract. And that was what our past solicitor wrote that with the contract. with Because it was broken down. Because we all, we argued, not argued, but we went back and forth about, kept saying it was matching really. Well, it really wasn't a matching. They paid 61 year, maybe 41 year, maybe 35 right. year. Right, it was 50 different percentages right. for the not years. Right, it was not an actual 50-50 match every right. year. Right, 50% every, it, it would have worked out to be 50% right. right. for three years. Right. It was just broken down. Right. Later. I mean, you're rehashing all this stuff. You guys had a roll call vote that was unanimous. Right. You should have known what you voted on. We did. And should know the language right. of where we're at right now. Here's my point. Is the borough paying 100% of that salary? And right. we're not getting in it? And, and we have been since since the hiring date. Absolutely. Yes. So if it was 120 days, four months, right. then we had to, I, this is an assumption. Right. Until um, we this get the facts, right, we, we're just going to. It's just going to be an assumption. That it was 120 days that was his probation, and then the grant had to be written, presented, I, don't know I thought they were going to pay us in quarterlies, if I remember correctly. I, I right. want to say they were paying us in quarterlies. I think we did hear something yeah. about quarterlies. Something quarterlies, but what I, do, what I do remember them saying very clearly is, um, number one on our agenda here is when we vote on this one, and if it passes, uh, we're going to lose any chance that we have of having, getting money from the state. Not retroactively. From borough manager, I, they're not okay, going to give us any. They can't penalize you retroactively on that. You entered into a, an agreement. I don't know when that agreement started or stopped, Larry. You would have to contact them. Well, I mean, including your resolution. No, 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 I don't mean our agreement. I mean the, the grant process, when that would have kicked in. Well, you know what? I, I'm not going to contact anybody from the DCV. I would rather a solicitor would handle that. Or the finance chair. You're going to work with the solicitor. See where the money is. Yeah, See what the grant money is out there, when a grant started, and if we are getting, should we get paid for any money that was due to us from 2021 into the beginning of 12, in, yeah, the end of 2021. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm confused also, <laughs> just on one thing, we keep saying finance committee. Uh, who is, I thought Joe Well, yeah, Nancy. Joe's off of there because I, he, he did a, it was, they didn't get changed on the thing. No. It's actually Janine and Nancy. I wasn't aware of that. And oh, I'm, I'm sorry, yeah. I mean, think, what's it wasn't on? our, Joe approached me at the last meeting and asked that, that he would be not on there for, for other reasons. And, you know, the, uh, you're new and didn't really know the work in the ins and outs. They were I mean, to move him. And I did ask Janine if she would step back in. So I'm sorry that it's not changed on here. That's my fault. I, I was wondering what okay. was Well, my agreement was, it right. had I'm step sorry, in, it was so Nancy so Paul and myself. Finance chair. All three of us. Finance chair is Nancy. 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 Okay. And Janine is working on there, and, I, and I'll and i also serve. <coughs> Very good. I also asked Janine to join me with personnel now, so she will actually be on my personnel committee, because it's more, it takes more than one person if we're going to interview and everything. So under the personnel committee, I don't have anything other than uh, the advertise for the part-time code officer we have in our immediate minutes there and to put it back out there again to look for a borough worker it's still an open position we voted to hire two only one was able to fulfill the, the commitment of the job so we still have a, an open an open vacancy I got a question so if this person that apply for the job, they know he broke his leg. Right. After his healing and everything, would it be advisable to go and approach him? Well, he was already informed that we cannot. He said it would be a three-month process. And, I, and he was already informed that we cannot wait that long to hire somebody. <coughs> that would make us hire yeah. three, then. 
Right, so really, I mean, if we get somebody before then, we get our, yeah. you know, yeah. You, because he does live in town. Right, I agree, but it's just the circumstance. Yeah. We can't wait three, right. three or four months to hire somebody. We, we need that body now. I mean, if it's down the line, right. we could hire him. And eventually, you're right, if we do need, but uh, other than that, we're still open for one other person, so if all anybody right. want to put their application in, then we can do that. And that's all I have under the personnel and do you have anything under personnel right now, do you? No, okay. I'm not into this. Okay. <laughs> you know, let's get into our agenda. It's on the agenda. The agenda, <coughs> number one. Is there a motion to approve the separation agreement? Motion. Is there a second? I'll second. Second. <coughs> Any questions or discussions? That's the separation agreement with uh, our former borough manager. Any other questions? Okay, roll call. Larry Solaski? Yes. Kathy Day? Yes. Nancy Ellen? No. Jerry Jerica? No. Kenny Mantiki? No. Joe Smith? Yes. Bob Barney? Yes. Number two. <laughs> Is there a motion to accept the resignation letter from Joe Man Joseph Manning? Motion. Is there a second? I'll second. Any questions on? Okay, roll call. Larry Solaski? Yes. Pam Day? Yes. Nancy Allen? No. Jerry Jericho? No. Ginny Mantiki? No. Joe Smith? Yes. Papa Barnett? Yes. Number three, is there a motion to approve resolution 2022-01 digital communication during the executive session? I thought we discussed that last week. Yeah. I, I didn't think that was going to be on here. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, I'll, I'll make the motion. Okay, is there a second? Second. Questions or discussions on that? Discussions. Mr. Solicitor, do you have anything to add to that? Um, yeah, can I like my stuff? I thought we were going to table that until yeah. we got back to what we discussed at our agenda meeting last week. Right. I, 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 I think we should go forward with it, but that's, that's up to you. Okay. I thought that we were going to make the changes that if whomever was, in, when, was on the telephone that it was going to be conference called in from here. And that's what was supposed to be changed. Well, I, I agree with I mean, I thought it was to be, I mean, I agree with you. I so, it was to be, to be this able. is the motion to go forward with it was, it, As like it was, it was originally original written, written. Right. Okay. Well, Spencer, I'm going to ask you, I mean, it states that I have the legal right to call in and be on speakerphone, right? If I, if I, if I choose to be at home, I can't come here for some reason. I could be on speakerphone and and be a, a member of the meeting. Are you talking about in general session? Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> so, but the, the resolution is for the folks who don't know is they want us to go to executive session. When we go into executive session, I'm not going to be privy of that. They're going to hang make me hang up my phone. But then when they come back out of um, the executive session, they're going to want me to vote on something that I did not, I wasn't privy of the meeting. We went through a year of meetings over the telephone and a computer system. We voted and executively for a year. Now all of a sudden, they want to add this cockamamie motion in here that I think violates my rights. You want me to vote on something while you go into executive session like we just did, and then when you, I, you call me back, we're going to make a vote, and I'm going to be going, what, what are we voting on? I don't know what the outcome was. Well, I mean, so I should be at the meeting. So I can't no, I mean, be at the meeting. There's going to be times I, 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 that you I, I, can't I, I, I make it. I realize that. I realize that. And, and guess what? I, in my 22, 23 years, I have missed very little meetings. I feel bad when I miss them. But guess what? If I do, we all have medical problems. We all go on vacation. Um, I don't think it's proper. I, I don't have a fix for, for what you said. 
Uh, my only suggestion, hypothetically, if the board were to vote for this, and I don't, I don't have a position one way or the other. I mean, it's up to you guys, whatever you want to do. My, my suggestion is, is that if there is a, an action item that you think is very important, you simply ask the board to table it until the next meeting. And unless it's an emergency, they should do that. So everyone could be there. Right. But, you know, so then, then it don't get discussed. Wait. But then it's not, it's, it still doesn't make sense. What? I sat in Lawn Valley Hospital for three weeks. I couldn't be here regardless of any meeting. I was on the telephone. So what happens if it's the it's the agenda meeting and I'm still or the regular meeting of March and I'm still in the hospital in April? No, for example, not to interrupt. I agree with you. What if it's the executives? What if it's the agenda meeting? We go into an executive session and the following week is our regular meeting. How right? How are you expecting not to vote on that? Unless you go back into another executive session right. and so react to anything that you did the week before, right? Because that person couldn't be there, but now they still might not be able to be there. Right. I just think that it's, you know, I mean, the motion's on there. And, yeah, uh, the vote. Yeah. You know, yeah. The vote. Jerry used the term, he thinks this is cockamamie. I don't, for the sure fact that I received information that somebody violated breach of confidentiality of executive session. Paul explained last week that he had the same, not the same thing, but something obviously something completely different you've not, you've not stated yet. Uh, so there's two instances from two council people on an executive session where I'm going in there and I'm expecting it to be 100% ironclad confidential. Okay, and so it's being breached. So what would be the difference? We just was in executive session. We, after this meeting, I grabbed five of these people and I said, guess what we talked about? Um, what the same difference? I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm giving executive uh, stuff that we talked about. I can do that, and I would be wrong. Absolutely, I would be wrong. But it can happen. And Larry, knowing you, if you heard that and you knew somebody did that, you'd be on like a dog on a bone on them. I'm sorry. I, I can tell you. Uh, and again, I'm, I'm not, I'm not advocating one way or the other. But I'm telling you, as an officer of the court and somebody who owes you a duty of loyalty and a duty of honesty, I highly suspect that there was a breach of executive session, and I have, I have legitimate reasons to believe that. I can't say that openly what, 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 what it is right now, but if you want to talk to me in, in private, I will tell you. Um, uh, that's the only thing I want to throw out. Is that Would I, that be any different, you being an officer of the court, if you're in front of the judge, and you have to talk about something, and you guys go into uh, his chambers, and you leave me out, and then come back out, the police officer out. Now you want me to make a call when you come back out. Would that be fair? No, the police officer would go into chambers with you, wouldn't he? And he would be able to make a decision. Yeah. Or if he couldn't be there. How many times have you had hearings that people were on speakerphones? Um. It's very rare that a judge does a, does a, a highly confidential in-camera meeting, that's what the term is, and allows parties to participate by phone. We do do like a general like conference call sometimes, especially, mm -hmm. usually especially in federal court. But if there's a highly uh, private matter, the judge would have an in-camera meeting, and it would be very rare if you ever let somebody call in for that. Uh, as far as a police officer coming to chambers, most likely it would just be the, it would just be the, the DA. And but the it was just a for instance I gave you. I'm sorry. It's okay. That was maybe. Okay. Once again, I just want to share with you that Roberta and I attended uh, via Zoom today. Pennsylvania State Association of Boroughs had a seminar today uh, for an hour. Question and answers following that. Understanding the Sunshine Act and amendments. Six pages were on executive session things that you know look i served five years before i was off for what two years whatever it may have been uh, i learned some stuff today uh and again but do they tell you to leave us out of executive session no i'll guarantee that's not in there guarantee it's not well in there. Can, can i tell you something jerry roberta posed that question digitally they didn't take her question but she sent it back in for an answer Today Good. with their attorneys. Good. So let's see so you know, what, they, what they get to do. <laughs>
Do you want to table it? Do you want to rescind your motion, Joe, and table it? Yeah, we can do it. Okay. I mean, that's what, I, mean I thought that's what we discussed last week, that it should have been tabled. Yeah. To go yeah. into that. Yeah. So we'll table that in the motion to the table. Does he, have, he has to rescind it? Your, 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 your motion now is to table the ordinance approval? Yes. Okay. So who second that? Second, I, I did. So you're, you're rescinding your second and yes. you're voting on? Yes, I'm rescinding my, my second motion. It's supposed to be tabled until next meeting. Thank you. The approval of the ordinance. Oh, right. Now to be a roll call. Thanks, Lassie. Table. Kenton Dice. Table. Angelis. Table. 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 Question of and that was brought up with the snow and grass and all that being thrown out on the on the streets. Correct. And Brooks, yeah, you showed the need for that, which Definitely. reinforces <laughs> reinforces this. Right. Right. Definitely. Uh, any other questions on that? Okay. Roll call. Larry Zalaski. Yes. Kathy Dice. Yes. Jens Yellis. Yes. Larry Jerica. Yes. Geneva Pinky. Yes. Yes. Sorry. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Papa Martin. Yes. Is there a motion to advertise the four <coughs> positions on the planning commission with a four-year term? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Good luck. <laughs> I got. I got a question. Good luck on the next. Oh, we have to have a, well, we have to have a motion and second first. I'll second that. Now we can get into this discussion. discussion. Uh, I sent an email out to Shelley Howe, Pennsylvania Brewers Association. Exactly, with your reaction on this, I ask her if we are ironclad that we have to fill four positions, or can we reduce that down to two positions? Now, that planning commission would be my committee, which I would have to chair those meetings once a quarter. Um, she did state that yes, we there's no maximum and there's no minimum uh, that we have to have on there. Uh, she said. If you would go down to the two, what I'm proposing, uh, naturally, I would be the sitting councilman. You have to have one councilman and uh, two, two, citizens. Two, two citizens. I'm just asking that if we're going to advertise, please, for this, uh, if we could please advertise to seek out individuals with business and economic development experience, um, because we're really getting aggressive with a lot of things. and. Uh, uh, I'd like to have qualified individuals serving on that on the planning commission. So is she saying we have to have all three of them committees, planning, zoning, and yeah. Yeah. you, you got to have them all. But she doesn't have to have the number. You, you can't change the uh, zoning. The zoning has to remain two. It has to be citizens, uh, vacancy citizen. With the, with the planning, we could go down to two. I ask if even business owners that, that are taxpayers in the community owning their own business can be on there. No, it's got to be citizens. Right. So can we amend this then? I mean, would we be better off in favor of amending and advertising for only two positions since we can barely fill four? Well, I think we need to do four because we might get two. Yeah. That's Come true. On, Paul. <laughs> no, I, I agree. We'll go to, go to two. Go to two. Okay. So we'll amend we'll that. Fill two. two. So the motion should be and then go back to receiving that. The, do they have like planning's four years? Do, can we set them to maybe two years each also? I don't think we can. No, so maybe that will uh, entice people. Some people don't want to be on a board for four years. Can we can I, we drop them all down to two? I believe that it's um, four it's, because of the four. Four years staggered. because of the it's four staggered. people. It's staggered. Right. right. So right. it's supposed to be staggered. Each year, one person falls off. Like the water authority does. Each year, one person goes off. Well, we can't have anybody fall off because we don't have anybody now. Yeah. Yeah. So so everybody, everybody, the everybody, the last person resigned, obviously, last year, right. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. No one applies. Wonderful. Nobody applies. Nobody applies. And I understand what you're saying, and I agree with you that you'd want them to have something, but 
anybody, anybody yeah. is a plus. We need to fill it. It needs to be right. filled. We need to fill it. Let's see what they have. Hopefully that's you. That's what yeah. So can we do, so we'll do two then. I would like to include though, uh, non-voting position, strictly advisory. I would like to get some of the business owners involved. I feel they have a right to, to be part of the planning well, process. Can be anybody on your committee. I mean, other than they can apply. Yeah. We can discuss the application. Right. Right. I mean, right. They, they, they don't have to be. They don't have to be. Uh, but they're not a voting member. member. Sure. I mean, I guess they are. They're fantastic. They as long as they're not a voting member, you can have anybody. Okay. Okay. I don't have a problem with that. Okay. If you can get them. So we're going to reset that then. Why we're tied for two positions? Oh, yes, Mike. Can I please interrupt for a second? Um, do you have anything else? Semi-controversial between um, six and fourteen that you need me for. The only other one I can see on there, and again, is number thirteen. I I I recommend tabling that right now because of the length of time that we were in there. Right yeah. until we get into that. Yes. So thirteen we can table. So then no, we won't because I, you're I, still going to work on thirteen because we're going to bring you up to that. Yes. I, I, I've been actually working on it. Right. Um, but I, I have my, my car. No, I understand. You broke down. Very nice car. Right now, I don't know why. So, do so, right. you need somebody to get you back out? I, I have a ride. I have okay. a ride. But I appreciate it. And I apologize. No, no, no. Sure. Hey, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Thank sure. You. Sorry. Thank you. You're fine. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Good. Okay. So we're back to that. There's two positions that for the plan commission. Joe and Larry second that to roll call. Larry Solaski? Yes. Kathy Ice? Yes. Nancy Ellis? Yes. Jerry Jerrica? Yes. Jenny Wittigge? Yes. Joe Smith? Yes. Paul Pavard? Yes. Okay, is there a motion to advertise for two positions in the zoning commission with a three-year term? Motion. Oh, sorry. Second. Okay. And you, you do have? Second. I Jerry Jerrica. And the discussion on that, uh, Dave DPS is still sitting there as the third member of the zone. Right. Board. Right. Correct. Right. This will be his last year. Right. Okay, roll call. Larry Slavsky? Yes. Kathy Dice? Yes. Nancy Ellis? Yes. Jerry Jericho? Yes. Jenny Monkey? Yes. Joe Smith? Yes. Paul Capar? Yes. Okay, is there a motion to advertise for one position? For the vacancy board with a one year term. Motion. So, second. Go ahead. You have the motion. No, no. And that's the yeah, other yeah, trying to get Jerry first, I'll second. <laughs> Any other discussion on that? No. Okay. Okay, roll call. Larry Zelaski? Yes. Kathy Dice? Yes. Nancy Ellis? Yes. Jerry Jericho? Yes. Jenny Matiki? Yes. Joe Smith? Yes. Paul McCartney? Yes. Is there a, number eight, motion to approve the paid accessible parking for 212 Valfield Avenue. I have a question, but not second. Second. Right. Okay, second. First view, Jenny, you made the motion? No. Who, oh, oh, you okay. made the motion. Kathy. Sorry. Okay. Not a discussion. We did Anybody else want to say this? Anybody? I'd like to see them, yes. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's just the way Yeah. You want to see? Uh, you want to Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. okay, roll call. Larry 
Kowalski? Yes. Kathy Yes. Nancy Ellis? I would like to say yes, but um, I believe that it, and maybe I'm misunderstanding something, um, wouldn't it be where uh, the street crew would determine the space would be? Would be? Has, hasn't that happened in the past? What's this now? I said <coughs> that in the past, did, were there not times when there were um, spots that people requested a special spot and there may have been a reason that that spot couldn't be? So that... Not fair to me. Huh? Well, he wants... No. He wants the spot right to buy the alley, right? No, the second. He, was, he wants the second. The second, second spot. Front of his house. I thought that was the first. No. It's not? That's right there at the Bevex. Right? Right across the aisle. Yeah, the alley room. Across the alley. Yeah, right. The little alley. There's an alley in the back of Bevex in his house. In his house. Yeah, there's a <coughs> Randy's. And I thought it was the first stall. That's what I thought it was. Whatever. I don't know, sir. I understand that it's okay. Okay, yes. Move on. Move on. Yes. Yes? Yeah. Gary Jericho? Yes. Jenny Matiki? Yes. Gary Smith? Yes. Tom Favari? Yes. Uh, the next three also, with our system of being here, those would be, he's been, until he works at four more three nine, because I know we did talk to uh, Code with Jeremy, we did talk to him about it. They never actually sat down and worked out a contract yet, in my understanding. So it says to approve a contract, which we really don't, we never actually sat down and worked. At their agenda meeting, we discussed working with our solicitor and our personnel. You're not going to approve a contract, you're just approving negotiations of a contract. Sorry, that's what the feel I'm looking at. I can't, I never see it. The first one, the first one says approve a motion to the, the approve a motion. Motion to approve the contract with the paid fire driver. Right. Well, we have a contract. Well, we already that. have. We already have one. That. that was no. worked out. Though, well, I mean, it, it it would be an extension from last year, unless well, you no, know, well, no, unless you wanted right. a negotiation yeah. under that. Right. Because he wanted so, to give us some some yeah. things in there. He wanted. Okay, right. That's what so we discussed last week. We can't approve the contract. I, I don't know what the contract is. Last week, I gave okay. Said that. But so we're not to be on it. So it's all need to be on here. If we're not going to vote, I mean, right. we don't even know what it is yet. So yeah. I, I, I well, we can we'll just change it to the way it's the other ones are approved the negotiations for the contract. Can yeah, we just table that? You don't have to. I mean, just, you don't even have to table it. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. You can just legally scratch it. Just take it. We're not going to vote on it. Take it off. It's not prepared yet. Okay. Right. Just take it off. I don't want to violate any. Sunshine yeah, rule that we're taking stuff off the agenda. Even the not voting, voting. we didn't have to. We, I just left it. I mean, I, that's Once again, my question. Before, before you take this off, I'd like to know who is going to take the lead on negotiations uh, with these contracts. Myself, Janine, and our solicitor as the personnel committee. Okay. There you go. So we're not going to, we don't need that one on there then? No uh, approval to this. None of the contracts. We don't have a. None of them are prepared, so I don't think they need to be on there. All right. Okay, so really, 9, 10, and 11 then. Very strictly. We don't need to until we actually get approved, until we actually sit down and negotiate. 9, 10, and 11. Okay. So we're going to move to number 12. I'd like to make a motion to table that. Table the motion to approve restructuring of sanitation contract. No, no, number 12. Oh, number 12. Yeah. Motion to approve the advertisement of the first time. My apologies. Code officer. So moved. We agreed last week we were going to hire a part time so it's so moved. Is there a second? Did you just say that? Okay. There's a second. Yeah. Discussion? Very discussion on. Is there a possibility in. Uh, I don't know. The solicitor may have to answer this, but is there a possibility that we would not have to advertise if we could just recall Bobby back? We want to advertise. 
You, yes. But I didn't ask you that. I asked you, could we? Is it a possibility we that we don't have to? I would think we could, because he, he was a current employee. We have not replaced it. All we have to do is bring him back. But once again, it's there. Right. Oh. Yeah. I'll make a motion we advertise. We're not going to talk. Is there a motion to advertise? A motion? You did? You did. No, I, there was no motion made. I made it. You I just, just made, made it. Okay. I will second that motion. Okay. All right. Well, there should have been a motion and second before we got into discussion. Yes. Yeah. By asking. Yeah. Any other questions on that? Roll call. Yes. Captain Day? Yes. Ian Taylor? No. Jerry Garica? Yes. Jane Motiki? I'm going to say no because we got a past employee that can take over. Jeff yeah. Smith? Yes. 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 Yeah, motion to table. Okay. What? Mo motion to table. Motion to table. Okay. Restructuring yeah. of sanitation. Okay, I understand that. And we just we, we can't have a discussion on it if it's table. Uh, you want to be here for an hour? I'll I'll be here for an hour. I have no problem. I got a whole file folder here. Oh, you didn't have <laughs> well, I thought that, that needs to be. My understanding that needs to be discussed. The solicitor and him are working out. Yes. So there was, I would I would not feel right comfortable working without out. discussing it without. They're the they're discussing some, out what? some the legal ends well, of this. There is a extension between here. Attorney there's Tim Matta and our solicitor. There is. Yeah, there's there's a, a option here. But the 2023. Correct. August right. 2023. Okay. Right. But we're looking at the tie in August. Right. August. Right. right. So August. Okay. But I wouldn't feel comfortable discussing without solicitor being here. Motion to table, and then you had a, do you had a second? Yeah, second. Kathy. Okay, so we'll table that to the vice versa solicitor. So roll call. Larry Slavsky? Table. Kathy Days? Yes, the table. Nancy Ellis? Table. Jerry Garica? Table. Janine Matiki? Yes, table. Joe Smith? Yes, table. Paul Martin? Yes. Okay, number 14, a motion to approve borough engineering by maintaining the burning to prepare RFP for appraisal of assets of the ABC in the borough of Shalway. Motion. I'll second. Question. 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 You go ahead. So we're going to either approve it, which I'm sure it'll pass here. For them to prepare the RFP, do we have a cost of that said RFP? I you're, you're 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 not advertising it yet. All you're doing is I, I is understand. preparing the RFP to come back to us, and then at that time they will discuss. You know. So if I, I understand, it won't cost us anything at this well, time. Well, that would cost that, 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 that would be part of the discussion when the engineering firm comes in and and creates the RFP. And they're not going to charge us to do it. No. Okay. No, that's part of their their due. Okay. It's our engineering firm. We're not getting they charge for the RFP. Or advertise to create an RFP. When they actually do the RFP, that's when the bids have to go out. Okay, I'm just concerned about money. No, he's saying there won't be no charge at this time. I'm, I'm concerned so about money. That's why I wanted to talk about the sanitation contract. We're going to be here for about so, three hours. Larry, you, you, are, you are saying that Remington and Vernick is not going to charge the borough to prepare the RFP. Is that what you're saying? They are not going to charge the borough to prepare the RFP. Okay, okay perfect. Remington and Vernon are borough engineers. Perfect, thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? Thank you all for all Yes. Kathy Yes. Nancy Ellis? Yes. Jerry Jericho? Yes. Jenny Mutiki? Yes. Joe Smith? Yes. Oh, come on. Yes. Hey, is there anything under redressing grievances? Yeah. No, please. Is there a motion to adjourn? Absolutely. Yes. Hey. <laughs>